Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the newly forming enchanting facility in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode, we were setting up this sweet ass research table that you see before me, as well as that epic enchanting library in the background. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to be taking our very first steps to unlocking the research required in the Thorncraft 3 mod pack to use golems to pick up all the litter dropping from the Renstar space platform. So sit back and relax, my sabin diggity dogs. I hope you got a tasty ass beverage because, uh, Mm. This is going to be a pretty complicated episode, man. Thorncraft is not exactly a simple mod, but uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it as much as I have been enjoying it. So let's feed the freaking beast that is our mind, uh, and let's get it out. Well, guys, since you were last with me, I have been a very busy dog. Uh, it may not look like it right now because nothing much has changed around here, but I have spent at least five to six hours research researching exactly how Thorncraft works and exactly how the research trees of Thorncraft works. And I'm pretty sure that I've got it all covered now. So hopefully in this episode, I won't derp too hard. All of you Thorncraft pros out there, do forgive me, man. This is my first time dabbling into Thorncraft. But before we get busy, guys uh, I want to show you a little something something that is going to help uh, many many OCD suffering cyber dogs out there at the end of the previous episode a creeper blew us up around this area over here and damaged the pathway that's currently holding up the research facility and uh, loads of you guys were crying out at the end in the comment section of the previous video render of my OCD is killing me please fix that platform that the creeper broke uh, so there we go guys I have now repaired it you can put your OCD to rest man and uh, we can really start focusing on exactly how to how to get these sweet ass golems which is our current goal now I didn't really explain too much about what is going on in Thorncraft in the previous episode so I'm gonna try and uh, and explain a little bit now before we get going so Thorncraft is a mod that is a part of this feed the beast mod pack and essentially what Thorncraft is is a mod all about magic right so it hasn't got anything to do with machines uh, or with electricity or with power. It's got everything to do with magic. And essentially, the, the world of Thorncraft comes to life when we spend a little bit of time, oops, wrong button, uh, spend a little bit of time in the Thormonomicon, which is something that we made at the end of the previous episode. And basically what the Thormonomicon does is it, is it helps to bring the world of, of Thorncraft alive for the player. Um, just like you guys who haven't played with Thorncraft before, I have no idea what Thorncraft is. I also have no idea what these symbols mean that if you hold down shift you can see all of these symbols coming up above all the items in Feed the Beast. I have no idea what any of that jazz means and all of that stuff has got something to do with Thorncraft. And the first thing that I did when I was getting into this mod was actually just open up this Thormonomicon uh, and just have a look around, man. And I'm going to do that with you guys now. And hopefully by the end of this, we'll all have a much clearer idea of exactly what Thorncraft is. And I think what we're going to do is start uh, with the lore inside of this uh, Thorncraft um, Thorm Thormonomicon. And for those of you guys who know what's, go what's going down in Thorncraft, you can just skip this part of the video. But for those of you guys who don't know who are as clueless as I am. Let's just uh, let's just go through a few of the interesting things in this Thormcraft uh, Thormonomicon wiki is basically what it is. And the first thing we're going to read about is those little symbols that appear above items in Feed the Beast. And those little symbols are called Aspects of Magic. Every item, object, or creature is bound by varying mystical elements known as aspects. Aspects describe the object's makeup and bent towards the magical elements. A simple stone may possess the aspect of saxum or stone, while more complex items like trees or even creatures can be made up of various different aspects in varying amounts. There are close to 50 known aspects with more being discovered all the time. To view what aspects an item possesses, simply hover your cursor over the item and press uh, press shift you will see what aspects that item has and what amounts of each aspects that have somehow been separated from the object and purified is known as essentia and is a very valuable both as a crafting tool and as a subject for magical research so guys you see just reading that very small part of the Thormonomicon immediately starts to bring the Thorncraft world to life right if I hold down shift we can see that all of these symbols start appearing above our items and those are the magical 
um, elements that make up these items. And in order to unlock research, which we see in this Thor Monomicon over here, to unlock all of these little bits of research, we need to use those aspects or those elements of magic inherent in all items in Feed the Beast to unlock uh, the bits of research that we want to unlock. So why don't we have a quick read about uh, the enchantment table. Where is that enchantment table thing? Um, research table, that's it. Uh, the research table. The research table is created by placing... Okay, we know that part. The research table is the most important tool for any Thaumoturge. It is used to unlock all the hidden secrets of the universe and discover new ways of harnessing magic. To research something new, you simply need to place some paper in the bottom middle slot and, and the objects you wish to study in one of the left slots. When you press the magnifying glass icon, you will study the aspects on those objects and have a chance of discovering a fragment of arcane lore associated with it. The aspects possessed by the items you are examining will be shown in the bar to the left of the items. Multiple items with the same aspect do not stack. The highest aspect present is always used, so make sure not to waste resources. Below the slot where you keep the paper is a toggle bar that can be set to cursory or thorough. When in cursory mode, you only have a small chance of losing the item you are studying, but your chance of discovering or progressing your knowledge is equally small. In thorough mode, your chance of discovering something is far greater, but you also have a high chance of losing the item you are studying. As you progress with the research, some of the aspect symbols on the left side will fade. When this happens, it means that the theory you are researching does not use that aspect in its makeup and you should not research that aspect further. At First, you will know very little about the knowledge you have discovered, but as you progress, more and more information will be revealed. At first, you won't know which aspects to examine, but the type, number, and progress of the research into each aspect will slowly reveal itself. Once all the progress is in, is it, progress in all the revealed aspects reaches 100%, you will make a brand new discovery. Simply right-clicking on the discovery in your hotbar will allow you to learn it and examine detailed information about it in the Thormonomicon. You might also notice that sometimes the aspects found in an item you are studying has a second glowing number in its top left corner. This means that something in the environment is granting a bonus to that aspect for research. The bonus could be granted from nearby blocks, creatures, or something else in the environment nearby. Even the location or placement of research table might grant bonuses. Well, there we go, guys. And doesn't that just make uh, this whole mod pack feel a little bit more, I don't know, less complicated? Um, and I know a lot, a lot of you guys out there would just not read any of this stuff. And I'm one of you guys. Like, I hate reading this sort of stuff. But you know what? It is so freaking important to read this stuff because suddenly... Suddenly, it starts to make a lot more sense. All of these things that we see in this research tree over here, these are the, are the discoveries that we are trying to unlock. And we are unlocking discoveries in the research table by examining um, items in Feed the Beast and, and, and uh, basically researching the aspects or magical elements that make up those items. And by unlocking uh, the... the aspects inside of the items we unlock research which which helps us make these discoveries that you see in this tree over here so any of these little things that you see over here that are grayed out are basically uh discoveries that we cannot unlock yet and the the ones that are glowing like this uh, are discoveries that we can unlock now if you were playing thorncraft like 100 percent for real without looking at the wiki you would literally do this blind you would just Start sticking in random uh, Feed the Beast items into your research table to unlock uh, different discoveries. And you would, you would slowly but surely, uh, but randomly, unlock everything in this research tree. For the purpose of this series, though, I'm not going to be doing that. This is not a Thormcraft series. Uh, and all I want to do is get to the point where I can use these golems over here. So what I've done is I've spent the last few hours, uh, well, more than that probably, uh, trying to figure out exactly what we need to research to unlock um, those golems. Now, these golems sit on the tier 2 level of the research tree, and I think tier 2 starts at this point over here. So essentially what we need to do is research all of this stuff above this big icon over here to unlock um, the ability to research golems. So in this episode, what we're going to try and do is unlock tier 1 of the research tree so that we can get to um, researching golems. And in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to research the golems and make them, which is a whole other part of Thorncraft, which we won't be covering in this episode. But um, that is basically it, guys. And from my research, I have determined that we basically need to unlock about 19 discoveries in order uh, to break tier 1 and to break into tier 2 so that we can get to the Golemancy uh, research tree. And everything that we need to unlock 
All of the discoveries that we need to make to unlock tier two uh, are all a part of these items that I put into this chest. I've spent a, a few, uh, about half an hour or so gathering all of this, this jazz from the storage warehouse um, and a few other things. I had to go shear some, shear some sheep. Um, I had to go and cut down some rubber trees. But basically everything that we need to do to unlock tier one is in this chest over here. Um, and now all we got to do is figure out exactly how to use these bits in that research table to unlock uh, the different parts of that uh, spell tree. So what we're going to do is take some paper because that is basically what we need to, to turn the research table on. Obviously what we're doing here is do, doing research on paper, right? Like we're using this, this uh, like quite literally this pen and this ink to write onto this paper, right? So I actually think that's pretty sweet. <laughs> and the first thing that we're going to do, guys, is unlock some of the really simple things, or we're going to try to anyway. So why don't we have a look back at our spell tree over here, and I want to try and unlock um, something like like one of these things around here, right? And if you look on the wiki, you can get a basic idea of, of what these things are, even though you can't read it right now. Um, and basically what these things are, um, are things like that... Basically, these discoveries are called things like nitre, magic tallow, um, alimentum, thorm th thormo, thermometer, thermometer <laughs> and a whole bunch of other things. And once you actually discover them, then their name and description uh, becomes clear inside of the spell tree. So why don't we try and discover something called nitre, right? And nitre uh, requires the aspects of... Uh, Ignis, Potentia, and Lux. Now, I've got a list over here on a piece of paper which tells me exactly which items contain those aspects. So, what we need is uh, Ignis, right? So, Ignis is from Netherrack. So, if we hold down Shift and look at Netherrack, that, like, flame that you see over there is Ignis, right? So, we want to use some Netherrack. Um, the next aspect that we're trying to use is called Potentia. And Potentia is... Give me one second to look at my list. Potential is made from redstone lamps. So if we hold down shift over a redstone stone lamp, we can see that fist holding a lightning bolt or something. That is called Potentia. And the last bit that we need to unlock the Night or Discovery is Lux. And Lux uh, is found in... Uh, let's have a look. Where's Glowstone Dust? Okay, let's, let's have a look at Glowstone Dust. We can see that candle. That is actually called Lux. Uh, Lux. Um, now, you can find these aspects... Uh, all these magical elements in all items in Minecraft. However, these items are, some items have more of the aspect than others, right? So Netherrack has uh, one of the most amounts of, um, of this Ignis aspect than any other item in Minecraft. So, so have a look. If we put uh, the, the Netherrack into the research table, we can see that there is Ignis over there. It also has other aspects called Saxum and Solemn. Um, and if we put the redstone lamp in here, we can see that there is the potential that we need. And in fact, redstone lamps also have Lux. So we might not necessarily uh, need to use Glowstone. Uh, so basically, we have the three aspects required to unlock the Nitor discovery in the research table right now. Remember, to unlock Nitor, we need Ignis, which is this jazz over here. We need Potentia, which is this uh, aspect over here. And we need Lux, which is this Lux over here. So if we start hitting the research button right now, and remember, we're going to be setting our, our thing over here to thorough uh, so that it, we have the highest chance of unlocking uh, the discoveries if we hit the magnifying glass suddenly we can see that we have something like something is clicked right we are literally we've put these bits of of uh, netherrack and redstone lamps on our research table we're examining them with a magnifying glass and we are th things are coming to our mind man we are making discoveries let's click it again suddenly we realize that the that these bits of netherrack and redstone lamp contain potentia and lux and suddenly it clicks in our brain hang on nito is made from potentia and lux so Let's, let's write that down on our piece of paper. So now we have a research note. Let's hit the magnifying glass again. And hang on, we've just realized that Ignis also exists inside of Netherrack. And suddenly the three aspects that we require to make Nitor have become clear to us. And now we can complete our research by just clicking uh, the, research, the, the magnifying glass over and over again. It consumes the materials we are researching. But suddenly we have discovered Nitor, baby! That is so sweet. Okay, sweet. So we've made the discovery of Nitor. 
If we right click on this discovery now, we can see that we also get a nice bit of lore. This glowing flame seems to be fueled by magic itself. The number of uses for an ever burning flame seems endless, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to produce much heat, though it could prove to be a steady source of light and energy. What's awesome about Thorncraft is that hints and tips about like what to research next uh, are all over the place. Uh, in descriptions and in the in the Thormonomicon and everywhere. So I really recommend like reading everything in Thor in Thormcraft. It, it just brings the the world of Thormcraft alive for me uh, and and makes it way more awesome. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna right click now, and you can see we have just completed the Nitor research. And if we open up our Thormonomicon now, we can see that here is Nitor research completed. It has stopped flashing, and that means we have unlocked a bit of research in Tier One over here. Um, and that is basically how research in Thormcraft works. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is trying to unlock all of this jazz over here uh, using the materials that we need um, in this chest. And I've got a list over here of basically everything that we need to research uh, over here to unlock tier two. And the things that we need to research are things like enchanted fabric, uh, a, th a, thorm a thermometer, a spellbinding cloth, alimentum, magic tallow, gaseous glowstone, glaceous tenebra, um, silver transmutation, blah, blah, blah. There's 19 things that we need to research in exactly the same way that I just researched um, that, that, uh, that, what did we just research? <laughs> this Nitor over here, right? So there's 19 more bits of research that I need to do to unlock tier two. Um, now, I, I don't think I'm going to do all of this research with you guys because it's going to take a butt long time. And I think that for those of you guys who want to do this also, probably the best thing for me to do is to create a thread on dogcraft.net showing you guys exactly what you need to research to unlock all of this stuff. Um, because it is actually going to take quite a long ass time to do. Let me tell you, man, it is not a simple process. Um, what, well, well, that was relatively simple, right? I guess we could try and unlock a few more things. Why don't we try and unlock enchanted fabric, right? And, uh, enchanted fabric requires the, the prey sun, prey santatio aspect, which comes from this shards. That purple wand is prey santatio. I'm definitely not saying that right. Uh, it requires Fabrico also, the Fabrico aspect, which comes from crafting tables. So we're going to use the crafting tables. I'm going like, to I'm gonna try to keep everything as organized as possible also. I only want to keep the items in my inventory that we need for research. And the final bit of um, aspect required to discover enchanted fabric is Panis. And Panis comes from wool. And I, we've got a small stack of wool here. Yep, there we go. All right, so let's head back into the research table. We've still got some paper in there and we are trying to unlock something called enchanted fabric. And if we stick our crafting table over here, we see the Fabrico aspect, which is what we need. Let's stick our, our, vis, our vis shard in there and that gives us the precantatio aspect that we require. And if we stick the wool in there, that's gonna give us the panis uh, aspect. Okay, so to unlock enchanted fabric, we need precantatio fabric and panis. So there's precantat patio, uh, fabrico, and panis. So that, in theory, should open up something. There we go. Enchanted fabric. Okay, sweet. So, um, if we just research enchanted fabric all the way to the end, we have discovered enchanted fabric. That is so sweet. And uh, if we just stick enchanted fabric into our hot bar over here and research it and uh, open up our Thormonomicon, there we can see we have unlocked enchanted fabric. And uh, that is basically, that is how research works, man. And uh, like I say, um, I have st I've taken the time to like research the wiki exactly what's required to unlock all of this stuff. But uh, if you guys want to play Thormcraft like 100% legitimately, right, you would literally be doing this like completely blind. So, for example, I don't know. Let's let's just take like some random uh, some random items in here, right? And let's just stick them in here. So if we stick iron ingots in here, we can see that we get something called metalum. Um, and if we stick the saplings in here, we get Herba and Lignum. Let's stick the furnace in there. That opens up like Saxum and Fractus. Now, we have no idea what the combination of these aspects is going to, going to result in. So why don't we just like click. We have an unknown theory. Um, we've discovered Fractus, but that doesn't do anything. Um, and we have a, an inkling of Alimentum, right? And um, we don't actually know what Alimentum does. So... Well, we don't know what other aspects Alimentum needs, right? So what we would literally do is like experiment. So we would stick our crafting table in there. Would that add to the, the research? No, that doesn't add to the research. What about the Vs? Does that add to the research? No, that doesn't add anything to the research. And we literally have to figure out like what 
what uh, aspect we require to unlock this research. If I have a look at my list, uh, Alimentum needs Ignis, Fractus and Potentia. Um, and I think where was Potentia was in Wool, right? Yeah. No, Potentia wasn't in Wool. Uh, hang on, give me one second to check my list. Potentia is in a redstone lamp. So let's get our redstone lamp. But say we didn't know that, right? And we just like stuck the redstone lamp in here. Suddenly, this, the, the, the second ingredient in Alimentum um, becomes revealed. Potentia. Uh, let's research that to full. And Potentia uh, or Alimentum needs one more aspect to be researched completely. And that is, of course, Ignis. And we know from the previous uh, research that Ignis comes from Netherrack. So we can get our Netherrack out here and get that in there. And now we can complete the research for um, this Alimentum, and there we can see uh, Ignis has now been added to the research table and if we just hit that magnifying glass until all three aspects are researched this one still needs to go a little bit further right because it's not glowing uh, you can see these ones have this like electrical field around them so we need to get our potentia all the way up to full and potentia came from uh, uh, crafting tables was it no not crafting tables saplings not saplings not not that Man, it's so difficult to remember all of this jazz. Seriously. Uh, hang on. Give me one second to consult my list. Potentia redstone freaking lamps. That's the one. Uh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. So we'll research our Potentia up to full. And that has discovered Alimentum. So let's add Alimentum to our uh, our Thormonomicon. This substance throbs with fiery energy. And it is more than eager to release that energy at the slightest bump. It may be unstable, but it would probably make a good source of fuel. All right, sweet. So that's added to the Alimentum. Now you can see we've researched Nitor, we've researched Alimentum, um, and there are a few more things we need to research around here. Uh, this this tree is is um, silver, iron, tin, copper, and lead um, transmutation or something like that. Um, I have no idea, man. <laughs> um, I've got it all on my list over here, but I'm not going to take you guys through it because it's going to take, it's probably going to take me half an hour, I guess, to unlock all of this research. So I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to spend the next uh, bit of a while unlocking all of the research we need on the very first level of uh, this Thormonomicon. And on the other side of this Kaplam, we will have a look at where we are at. And then hopefully by uh, the next episode, we will be able to research golems and get those bad boys crafted. I'll see you on the other side of this uh, very researchy complain complain all right cyber dogs welcome back and i am pleased to announce that i have just unlocked tier two of our thormonomicon and as you can see uh, i have researched all of the little bits that we needed over here tin transmutation iron transmutation copper transmutation silver transmutation a thorm a thormium grafter a thormium scoop thormium a magical building block basic transmutation elementum night ore basic alchemy basic artificing Thormometer and Enchanted Fabric, and that has managed to unlock Unified Thormatic Field Theory, which is sweet. All is becoming clear, it says. Uh, you have formulated a theory on how the, how the natural and elemental world interacts with the mystical. You finally have a grasp on how the aura saturates everything and everyone. Not only is knowledge enlightening, it has some practical applications. The first such practical application is, an, is improving your casting wand. You now know how to create a wand of the adept. It is similar to the wand of the apprentice, except it is able to store much more vis, thus allowing for larger and more complex feats of magic. It also recharges faster. That is freaking sweet, guys. But most importantly, you can see we have unlocked this golem research area over here of the research tree, which means in the next episode, we will be able to start researching these. Uh, this is called golemancy, I think is what it's called. And it will allow us to build all of the golems that we need that are going to help us with the tasks that we require in our Feed the Beast world. It's freaking sweet, man. I think we'll also dabble in a in, in some wand magic and, and a, a bunch of other stuff that Thorncraft has to offer. But for now, guys, um, I'm going to end the episode here because it took me about, I don't know, half an hour or so to finish all that freaking research. And uh, it was it was hard work, man. So I need a break right now. But I hope Thorm uh, Thormcraft is starting to make a little bit more sense to you guys. And uh, even if all we get from Thormcraft are golems, at least uh, at least we know a little bit more about this mod pack, which seems to be such a huge part of Feed the Beast, even though we don't notice it. But, you know, Thormcraft is everywhere, man. Uh, we see the aspects in all items in Feed the Beast. We see the shards all over the place. And, man, you know, it's just it's a, it's a pretty big part of this mod pack, even though it, it, we may not realize it. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope I haven't Thormcraft your brain into oblivion 
Although my brain is 100% thorn crafted into oblivion, I gotta say. So I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a take a walk and uh, take a rest and uh, crack on with the next part of this thorn craft journey. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Ren Diggity Diggity Doubt playing Minecraft Feed the Beast. We will see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye!